In this video, I want to talk about the new person in the narcissist's life. I want to seriously bust some myths about the new supply and give some answers on what is really going down with this new person. Number one, the new supply isn't new. This person in the life of a narcissist may not have been there for very long, but they've been there. A narcissist can't normally just wander out and go find a new source of supply after they've discarded you. These people have to be tested. They have to be given a trial run. They need a dose of love bombing and some grooming. And for these reasons, rarely is this person brand new from the street. Again, they might not have been in the narcissist's life as a romantic interest. They might not have been in the life of the narcissist for very long before you were discarded, but they were there and they're definitely here now. They meet a person, they suck them into the harem and place them accordingly. It's kind of like, where do you stand on the totem pole kind of thing with a narcissist? We're never sure where everybody ranks with a narcissist, but there are definitely rankings. Narcissists also do this thing that's called monkey branching. Think of an adorable tiny little monkey in the trees just swinging along. They have one hand on the branch behind them, supporting them as they look ahead for that new branch to jump to in front of them. Well, some are nasty, mean, narky little monkeys, and they grab a new branch, but they don't let go of the old one just yet. They sit there in immature little limbo purgatory while they make sure the new branch will support them. And only once they know it's a good idea, then they let go of you completely and jump to that new branch, that new source of supply. Now, they don't always get this option. Sometimes they get dumped. Sometimes we walk away and the narcissist doesn't know this is coming, doesn't know that this is going to hit them. And they have to scramble for a source of supply, make a quick pick, so to speak. Now, this person might be totally new, but they need to go where they feel a little bit more comfortable with a person. Even in my case, the replacement was found, I would say, probably a couple weeks before I got, you know, the good old heave-ho, the good old discard. But the narc needed to make sure that this was going to be a good fit before he let go of me completely. Of course, never said anything to me about any of this. And even the last few messages I received were very caring, filled with concern, very lovey-dovey, very attentive. And then he went and made that jump. The new supply, I promise you, is rarely ever brand new to the narcissist. They might even go back and hoover an X, and that's definitely a source that has been there for quite some time. So to sum it all up, this new person that we have maybe been so quickly discarded for, mm, they've probably been around longer than you think. If you'd like to talk one-on-one -on -one with me about what you're going through, what you've gone through, maybe in a toxic, abusive relationship, share more details with me and get some help in a private one-on-one -on -one setting, you can always email, book a chat with jess at gmail.com to set up those private chats with me. Number two, I get this question all the time. Why isn't the new supply flaunted all over social media? Why aren't they just brandished and showed off and all that stuff. Why isn't the new supply there? I know there was somebody new, but it doesn't reflect as such on social media. So this could be a few different possibilities, but whatever the reason is, I want you to know it's absolutely calculated as to why the source might be shown and flaunted on social media or why it isn't. A narcissist never forgets to post something on social media. It is very curated and very planned whether they are there or they're not. But firstly, they might be cheating on the new supply. Yep, you heard me, already cheating. They always have more than one source of supply. And just because this is the newest one, oh, well, they're not really new for very long. I'm sure you know that. The new supply might even be the other man, woman, whatever. They might not even be the primary source. They're just someone who's new. So they might be getting cheated on. And if there's a different person, well, we can't have all these people knowing about this on social media. Now can we? Secondly, the new supply might be nowhere in sight because the narcissist probably wants to give off a single vibe on their social media. And putting that they are in a relationship can certainly slow an influx of new supply coming into play. 
but this also might happen. The new supply also might be hidden. If the narcissist has picked a source of supply that isn't very attractive, maybe, or doesn't have a whole lot going for them, maybe there's something negative about them that the narcissist does not like. Maybe they have a lot of kids or maybe they don't have a high profile job. Maybe they post silly or embarrassing things to the narcissist on social media. There's something negative there and the narcissist does not want to deal with that. The narcissist needs to maintain that correct certain false image of themselves. So that can also be a reason. Thirdly, just like everything else with a narcissist, this is all about power and control. It's always about power and control. The new supply might be being gaslighted, devalued, and minimized. They probably already are as a way to control them. A lot of narcissists will say things when it comes to social media like, why do you care if it says we're in a relationship on social media? You're like really obsessed with this. (laughs) This is like really over the top. You need to get some help. That's gaslighting. That's very devaluing. It's very minimizing and it can make a person feel terrible. So they might hear something along those lines and they walk away feeling bad about themselves for even asking and wondering if maybe they have a social media addiction just because the narcissist doesn't want to say they're in a relationship. The new supply might have met this narcissist on a dating site or a dating app. And they might get told that the narcissist doesn't have social media. I've been on dating sites in my life and I have been told a time or two, I don't use any social media. Oh, bullshit. (laughs) They might not be spending 12 hours a day on Twitter, but every narcissist has some kind of social media accounts. It's too tempting and too easy to get so many sources of supply, so many void fillers, people to help cure their endless boredom. I mean, even here on YouTube, they have social media and YouTube channels and profiles. So, but that could be another common thing. I don't use social media. And like I say, I've even heard that myself. And this is basically their way to have their cake and eat it too. The narc I was with made a whole Facebook page after talking about how much he hated Facebook. I found it and never said anything. (laughs) And within a week or so, there were over a hundred women on there then 200 women. And was I told that there was a Facebook page? Nope. Did he say he was with me on that Facebook page? Nope. Were we even friends? Nope. He was wearing the clothes I bought him though. (laughs) Just saying. But another reason, this can also be a really good time to come in with some drama because we know they love drama and some triangulation. They might say something along the lines of, I can't put you on my social media yet it might hurt my ex, or I can't put you on social media yet. I have to make sure that we're really in this for the long haul. I need to know that you're really committed to me, or my ex really misses me, so I'm trying to be considerate of their feelings. Now, (laughs) those are some jealousy, sparky, dramatic little things to say for the narcissist. And they can also say something like, wow, you're jealous of me trying to protect someone I used to care about? wow, you sound really selfish. Why do you care so much? I'm over here trying to do the right thing. You would want me to do this for you, right? Wouldn't you want me to protect you if I was seeing somebody new? And you're over here acting all crazy on me. Again, gaslighting, telling you that you're crazy, that you're jealous, that you're obsessive, that you need help. And it might spark some jealousy. They're with somebody new, but they're telling you how much the ex misses them and all that kind of stuff. So you can just see it's a big ball of craziness, confusion, gaslighting, and frankly, emotional abuse. So take your pick, really, why they're not posting this person. It's usually a combination of these things, but rest assured, really, in the big scheme of things, it doesn't really matter why they are or are not posting this person. Number three, why did the narcissist downgrade with their new supply. The new supply might be what some people would call a downgrade. And I don't mean to insult anybody when I say this, but what I mean by this is maybe you gave them a beautiful, fancy, expensive home to live in, but now they've left you for someone who lives in like a little tiny apartment. Or maybe you make great money or you're really successful with your career, but now they're with somebody who isn't as fortunate or as hardworking as you are. And they don't have as much financially to offer. 
Maybe they're with somebody who doesn't seem as attractive as maybe you feel you are, whatever the case may be. In some way, shape, or form, you feel that they have somehow downgraded with this new person. In some ways, it might seem to you like the narcissist has given up something that they really value to be with this new person who doesn't have those things. And it can be very confusing. Well, why leave me when I have A, B, C, and this person doesn't even have A? Well, what are you doing? Narcissists might downgrade if they have to scramble maybe to find someone new. Perhaps you broke up with them. Maybe you left very abruptly and they thought they had a great thing, but nope, it, it just fell short. Sometimes they just downgrade to purposefully piss you off. Look, I think so little of you. This is what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to shove it in your face and blast it all over social media. Sometimes while this new person might not have everything that you did, they do have one thing over you. And the new person will always have this over you. They're new. The narcissist can't fool you anymore. Regardless of what you can offer to them or give them, they need more supply, more attention, more time. They need someone new who won't ask any questions. Someone new who doesn't understand what it really is. So what bothers you the most about the new supply? Maybe you were unbothered by this. Share your stories with me down in the comments. Thank you so much for listening today. Please subscribe if you haven't for more videos on narcissistic abuse. Like the video to help this reach even more people and spread more awareness. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.